Uh, let's, yeah, let's play this one against Lord Boddington. All right. Oh, look, the point counter. Why? I didn't... Ugh, that's annoying. Okay. So, let's, uh... Let's talk about the cards here. I'm just gonna go over them and say what they do. And then we'll we'll talk about their function. So, um... Catacombs. It says, look at the top three cards of your deck, choose one, put them in your hand, or discard them in plus three cards. And then it has a, a benefit when you trash this, gain a cheaper card. So it's got an on-trash benefit, but mostly this is used for drawing and a little bit of sifting. Look at the top three. If they're terrible, eh, you can get another shot. Uh, festival. Uh, this one's pretty familiar. Two actions, a buy, and two dollars. So this is a uh, village, as we call it. Um, Grave Robber, a whole bunch of text. So you get to choose one. And um, the first thing you get to choose is you can pick a card from the trash, costing from three to six, and then you can top deck it. So you can pick through the trash and gain something from the trash that's okay, not bad, not good, stick it on top of your deck. Or you can trash an action card from your hand and then gain a card costing up to three more. So the, the canonical thing is you play Grave Robber, you trash a Grave Robber, costing five, and then you gain something costing three more, which is a province. And then the grave robber's in the trash when you did that, so then later you can play a grave robber and then get your old other grave robber from the trash, and so you can continue doing this. That's what grave robber does. It trashes actions into better things, or it gains cards from the trash. Eh, a little weird, but you can use it. Grave Robber combo with Catacombs. Yeah, you can uh, trash Catacombs with your Grave Robber, getting the on, on trash benefit. So then you can gain a card costing up to 8, and then also a card costing less than 5. So yes, well done. Uh, library. So a lot of text. Basically, you draw until you have 7 cards in hand, and then if you're dead drawing, if this is your last action, Library allows you to set aside action cards instead of drawing them and having them count towards your 7. But that's that's not the main function of library. The main function of library is draw till you have seven. That's the big deal. Rogue. Okay. Rogue gives you two dollars when you play it, and then a bunch of text. The first part of the text is very similar to Grave Robber, actually. If there are any cards in the trash costing from three to six, you gain one of them. Otherwise, if there are no targets in the trash, then you attack your other player. They reveal top two cards of their deck, if one of them trashes three to six, they trash it. And then if both of them are costing in that range, then they get to choose which one it is. But you can potentially trash cards from their deck for your rogue to pick up later, right? So you trash cards from their deck, and then later you play the rogue and you steal them. So you're literally stealing cards from their deck. Takes at least two plays of rogue to do it, but that's what rogue does. Uh, cartographer here. Card in action, so it's a cantrip, meaning doesn't hurt your hand whenever you play it. And then, once you've done this, you get to look at the top four cards of your deck. You can discard any of them, and then the ones you didn't discard, you can put back on top of your deck in whatever order you want. So, Cartographer doesn't hurt this hand, and it potentially helps your future hands, whether that be your next hand, or let's say you have more draw. You maybe can uh, choose what you're going to draw this turn. Clear out the the green cards, and then make sure that your the card you really want is next up to be drawn, for example. So Cartographer is super nice. All of these things that uh, I talked about so far cost five bucks. Next is Salvager. It's uh, $4. It gives you a buy, and then you trash a card from your hand, you get money equal to its cost. Trash an estate, get $2 and a buy. Trash a copper, get nothing and a buy, but the, at least the copper's gone. Uh, Salvager is also pretty good for trashing, you know, expensive cards because you get a buttload of money. So um, that's another thing you can do. Maybe cards that are good in the early game, once you're done using them, you can salvage them and then effectively get your money back. So Salvager is pretty nice. Um, Quarry. It's a treasure card, meaning uh, you don't play it in your action phase, you play it in your buy phase. Quarry's worth a dollar just like copper, but it has this special text at the bottom, which makes it, you know, cost four dollars more. It says, while this is in play, action cards cost two dollars left, two dollars less, but not less than zero. So 
it, uh, it's worth $3 if you're going to buy one action. Or if you have multiple buys, it actually reduces the cost. So you can really get a lot of money out of Quarry if you're buying action cards with it. So that's pretty nice. Mining Village. It's a village, so it gives you a card and two actions. And then it has this thing. Every time you play, you can, you can decide if you want to trash it immediately, then you get two extra dollars. So it, you can use it as a one-shot if you feel like you're not going to use it anymore or you really need the money right now. Sacrifice it, getting a few extra dollars on your turn. Ooh, and then you can get it back with Grave Robber or Rogue. Ah, combo. Finally, Shantytown. Uh, this one costs three. You get two actions. You reveal your hand if you don't have any actions, action cards to play with your fancy two actions. Well, you get to draw two cards, and maybe you drew actions with those. Um... Shantytown sounds a lot better than it is because um, usually, uh, well, unless Nick is playing. Nick is very good at triggering Shantytowns and drawing action cards. Um, not me. Not so much. So, um, these, are, these are what the cards do. Uh, we have, um, now I'm going to analyze the board as a whole instead of just one card at a time. So, uh, attacks here. The, the only attack is Rogue. Rogue is a pretty weak attack, because a lot of the times if there are cards in the trash, you're forced to take those before you can even attack with the rogue. So it's not really effective at breaking your opponent's deck down. Uh, so I'm not probably not going to be going for rogue unless I see some compelling reason to do so. Uh, trashing. We've got a Grave Robber that can trash action cards. Salvager that can trash anything. So trashing is present. We've got uh, villages. We have festival and mining village. So you can play multiple terminal actions in a turn if you want. We've got draw. There's catacombs and library. So there are ways to increase your hand size. Festival library is a combo, right? You play a bunch of festivals and you get down to a small hand size and have a bunch of actions and get money. And then you library and since your hand is small you get more draw out of library. So festival library is a combo. Uh, but yeah, the villages and the draw are here, and also the plus buy is here in Festival and Salvager. So, uh, you know, it's a big engine, right? Um, all the components are here. Um, the only thing that would make me have reservations about going engine is the idea that a big money player can play Catacombs big money or Library big money um, with a little bit of support, and there's no Alt-VP to catch up if I ever get behind, which is likely. But, you know, I'm going to go for the engine anyway. Uh, the engine will benefit probably from opening quarry because I want a ton of cool stuff, right? Uh, I want to thin my deck, and I want to get a ton of cool stuff. So we're going to open uh, quarry or salvager. And, uh, well, uh, $3 is going to get a silver. I need to buy a lot of $5 cards. Silver is going to help with that. I love my trashing, and I'm going to open with the trasher. Quarry I'll get on my second shuffle. We'll open Salvager Silver here. So here's $5. Uh, what did you do? Uh, you got Salvager Silver as well. Great. So here on 5, what's the most important $5 card to get? Well, um, great question. Thanks for asking. Festival seems okay. Catacombs seems okay. I'm leaning towards the festival. And here's why. Next turn, I'm probably either going to hit four or five. I want a quarry regardless. And it's nice to have a plus buy card. Festival's got this plus buy on it. It's nice to have a plus buy card to match with my quarry. I get a lot of uh, value. So uh, we will get Festival here first. Wandering Winder, you're welcome. Okay, I don't remember why you're saying that. but Anyway, so we got the quarry. We managed to thin an estate, and uh, yeah. Great. Okay, so here we've got seven and two buys. A second quarry will be nice. I kind of want to... Get another five cost, though. Catacombs is pretty good. Uh, draw, you know, it's a good thing. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get catacombs here. That's a great question. Thanks for asking. <laughs> yes. Okay, here we go. Salvage this. And we've uh, we've managed to line up our quarry with a plus buy card here. So now, now all the actions cost a little less. And these things that used to cost five now cost three. So I can get what used to be a five and a four on my turn. Because uh, the quarry has really paid off for us here. The four... Um, Martha Stewart? The the four can't be a quarry because it's not an action card. It doesn't get the cost reduction. So the four is going to be a mining village. I do want the mining village. Um, the five, I'm thinking catacombs. Draw is uh, pretty good, and I want to do it. So that's what we're going to do. Here on five and two buys, what are we going to do? I'm thinking about Cartographer. I don't think I want to get uh, Grave Robber yet. Grave Robber I'm not going to want until later in the game when there are more uh, targets for it to trash. I really want to be Grave Robbing my engine components, my festivals, and my catacombs into provinces. That's what I really want to be doing. Uh, so I'm not going to get Grave Robber yet. Cartographer is not going to be as useful in the early game. In fact, I don't even know if uh, I want to get one at all. Rogue, eh, I'm, I'm not so enthused about Rogue either. And I would rather have Catacombs and Library. Drawing cards, it's a good thing. So here we go. We're not going to be trashing this for a while. Play our Catacombs. Uh, well, I don't have any plus buy here. So I'm actually going to discard this. I'm not really getting much value here. I really want to see like a festival. Hey, it's a, a festival. So yeah, we'll draw some more cards because drawing cards is a good thing. This is trash. Get out of here. There we go. Uh, playing this catacombs is not going to be worth it. Reason number one, I'd rather play my salvager, right? Reason number two, it's my last action. And so it's dead draw. Now, I don't think I'm going to be drawing any action cards dead, but, I mean, I'm already going to have a decent amount of money in buys here. So, um, you know, I and I don't really want to trigger this shuffle, even though that's not terribly important. Let's see what we've got. Ten and a quarry and play with three buys. I can get three of these five costs. I was making air quotes. It's going to be two festivals and a catacombs. Just keep building up my engine, more draw, more stuff, more buys, more money, more everything. Uh, this is just fine, I'll take it. That is not just fine. Uh, thinking about salvaging the catacombs here, that's actually pretty good, because at the very worst, I can just get another catacombs this turn. And I can use the on trash benefit to pick up an extra village. So that seems pretty strong. We'll salvage his catacombs. Gaining mining village from it. And now we have three buys and enough coins to get basically any three actions we want. Uh, I don't think it's time for Grave Robber yet. will be shortly. I think I just want a festival and two catacombs. Do I want to get another quarry? Eh, I don't really think that's so important. Drawing cards. It's a good thing. Now this is a hand. Um, hmm. Well, these are good cards, but none of them draw cards. And, and really, I've got plenty of actions. I, I really want to draw cards. I'm going to be confident that I can find more draw in with my next catacombs, because I, I don't want to lose these. So we'll take these. A little bit risky. Uh, none of, uh, Mining Village draws one card, but I need to get to my other catacombs, so this has to go. I didn't? Ugh, nasty. Anyway, we'll salvage a copper just for the buy, and we'll get some more stuff. So I can get four of these actions. Well, I'm just going to get more festivals and more catacombs. Now, if uh, I, I would expect someone who wasn't a robot to maybe be contesting me on these. So I'm able to build a little more than I normally would. 
I'm going to keep this. Uh, this is great. I'll take it. Festival. More stuff. Uh, now, here's the thing. I can't keep this because I'm only going to have one action left. I really need to draw some kind of a village, so a mining village or a festival. So I have to discard this, and we get our festival. Same situation, but this is exactly what I want. Uh, this is great. We're probably going to draw our deck here. And this is fine. And this is fine. Great. Um, salvaging catacombs doesn't accomplish all that much. So um, we won't do it. We'll salvage a copper just for the buy. And now it's time to think about Grave Robber and our endgame here. I have eight buys and 20 coins and all this stuff is cheap. What I want to do is get one province and four of these things. Now my deck produced two more actions. So if I get one festival and three grave robbers, well, I might have trouble drawing that. How about festival, catacombs, two grave robbers? I'll be able to expand a couple of actions in the province. That seems pretty good. Festival, catacombs, two grave robbers. So I'm aiming for four provinces on my next turn. That's what I would like to do. This is great. I'll take it. Uh, this is... Um, you can probably win next turn. Yeah, I probably can. Uh, see, the thing is, there's uh, no... Uh, I'm going to draw my deck anyway, but... I'd really like to have catacombs left over. Um, I'm going to discard these. Ugh. And we've reached the end of the line for draw. So uh, I pay for discarding the catacombs. It might have been a little not smart of me. What can I do? I can grave rob festival and gain a province. I can salvage the quarry for four more dollars and buy two more provinces. So that's what I'll do. I'll just get three provinces and then probably end it next turn. Uh, trash and replace. We'll trash this festival. Gain a province. Salvage the quarry. I'm not really buying action cards anymore. So the quarry is uh, just an inexpensive copper. So salvager's great on it. And two provinces. All right. Nope. Uh, this is just fine. Uh, the catacombs. Ugh. Uh, I'll discard this, actually. This is great. Need to see more draw. This is great. Um, hmm. Uh, I actually think this is okay. I may be able to force a win. Let's let's count. If I accept these three cards into my life, I'll play the festival, play the grave robber, trashing catacombs, gaining a province, salvage province, and yeah, this will work. So uh, if I take these cards, I can force a win this turn, and I'll show you how. So I'm going to put them in my hand, play the festival. We're going to grave rob the catacombs. Trash and replace. That's this one. Yeah. Catacombs. Ooh, got to gain a card costing less than catacombs. Well, since I'm ending the game now, we'll just grab this estate for an extra point. And now I get the... the I expanded into a province. Now, I've got $8 already, 5 in my hand. I need 16 to draw the province. If I salvage the silver, that only effectively gets me up to 14 so what I've got to do is salvage a province, which gives me $8 and an extra buy. And then I'll just buy that province back. So I'm milling a province because if I drain this pile this turn, the game will end and I have more points. So that's what I'm doing. Salvage a province, and then we'll buy the last two provinces, and I have enough money for an extra duchy. So there we go. And we win. We beat a bot who was playing 
Alright, what was the bot doing? Big money, looks like. Big money was salvager. Ooh, bought a he bought a festival in a shanty town. So big money was salvager, and a little bit of support. Um, if you're gonna go big money, I mean they're better enablers, but in 13 turns, uh, I got six provinces in a duchy, and I had great control over when the game ended. Um, usually a big money strategy will get you. Eh, a good one will get you four provinces by 13 turns. So uh, engines are pretty good, and uh, I like playing them. Uh, so yeah, can you uh, let me know what you guys think of that in the chat? I mean, I, I know that's...